back, it's Katerina and I hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial. This is just kind of like my version of a classic simple cat eye winged liner and then a classic bold red lip. If you guys have watched a lot of my videos, you know that I don't really wear red lipstick all that often. I stick to like nudes, pinks, and purples and mauves, those are like my favorite because I just never really found that perfect red for me. But ever since I picked up this lippy stick from ColourPop, it's in the shade Bossy. It is my perfect red, I feel like. And today's video is pretty much just going to show you how I achieve this look and whenever I wear a matte lipstick, especially like a matte red lipstick and bold liner, what I do with like my bronzer, my highlighter, all that stuff because I find that wearing red lipstick, especially in them when it's matte, really takes the life out of my face almost. I really need to focus on bringing that warmth, that glow back in. So I'm going to show you all the steps that I do. really hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe find it helpful, and let's get started. The brows, I'm going to use a City Color Be Bold Brow, and I'm just going to use a small angled brush and lightly fill in my brows. I was kind of having some trouble with my brows today, but I also like to do this before I do any wing liner because it helps frame my eye and frame my face, so I really know how dramatic I want my wing to be. Then I also take a spoolie, kind of brush them through, that way all the hairs are going the same direction and it kind of helps blend everything out. And for liner, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Liner with another small angled brush. And I'm just going to do dabbing motions first, really close to my lash line. I do have more hooded eyes, so I don't like all of my liner to be very thick. I like the inner portion of my eye to have a very thin line and really close to my lash line, that way I'm not taking away any lid space. Then I start to bring out the tail and I do it in a direction up towards my brow and then I kind of start to fill it in and thicken out that outer portion of it, creating my cat eye wing. And you'll notice here I do a more soft kind of subtle wing just because that's what I'm comfortable with on the everyday and again it doesn't take away any of my lid space. And then I do the exact same thing on the other eye. I just wanted to really show this whole portion. Um, that way you can really see what I'm doing here. If you guys want a whole tutorial on how I do wing liner, I'd be more than happy to do that as well. I'm going to select to check both sides, make sure that they're symmetrical, and then again thicken out the outer portion of my wing. Then I go ahead and curl my lashes. You could also opt to put on some fat false lashes at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and work with some mascara today. So first before that though, I do want to tight line. Any black coal pencil will work. I'm using the Hard Candy Take Me Out liner. This will just make sure that there's no um, eyelid showing through. And then I'm going to go in with mascara. This is a Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara, one of my current favorites. And I'm going to apply this generously on my top lashes. For the bottom lashes, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational, and I really like this because it has that curved applicator, so it's really easy to get everything. And then for a primer, I use the Ole Fresh Effects Matte Primer, and then I'm going with two foundations, the number 7 Bidoofy Matte and CoverGirl in 332, but I'm mostly using the Boots number 7, and I'm just going to dot this all over my face and start blending it in with a beauty blender. These two foundations combined give the most airbrushed, full coverage, flawless finish, and that's why I've been using them the past couple of videos as well. For concealer today, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the shade Fair or Light, and I'm going to just put this under my eyes and also just in the high planes of my face. So down the bridge of my nose, also right where I did my wing liner so I can crisp it up on the edges, my cupid's bow, and my chin, and again, just going to blend everything out with my beauty blender. Next, I want to set my under eye area, so I'm going to go in the Anastasia Contour Kit with the shade Banana and Vanilla with a tapered brush, and I'm just going to set that area that way it doesn't crease, and it also helps brighten it up even more. To set the rest of my face, I've really been enjoying this Maybelline Dream Wonder Pressed Powder, and I'm just going to use a large kabuki brush and just pat this all over my skin to make sure that I don't have any oil seeping through throughout the day. 
And then to bronze up the face and contour, I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the shade Medium Deep with my Sephora Contour 74 brush and really chisel out those cheekbones. You guys know I'm always down for a strong contour, but when I have a cat eye like this, I really like to add that warmth and bring that bronzer and glow into my skin. Also bring it up on the temples and the forehead, on the chin, and then I'm also going to go right under my lip like I always do to help make that look a little bit bigger and plumper on my nose and then on the sides of my nose as well. For a blush slash another bronzer, I'm going to use this Lorac Baked Blush in the shade Hollywood. It's the most beautiful kind of orangey bronze color and I'm applying this very generously all over my face, really focusing on the cheeks and just where you'd have that natural bronze, natural glow. This is perfect for a look like this because it does have those gold flecks in it, so it adds that beautiful, healthy, dewy looking skin even though I have those mattifying products on. For a highlight, I'm first going to go with the City Color Spotlight Highlight. Just apply this on the top of my cheekbones and then this is like a cream to powder highlight. It's one of my all-time favorite highlighters. And then on the sides, or on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to go into the City Color Timeless palette with this kind of copperish bronze shade with a fan brush and apply that first over the tops of my cheekbones, but I kind of blend it down towards my cheek area. And it just adds, again, that bronze glow that is just so perfect for this look. And then for my lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop Libby Stick in the shade Bossy. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this is pretty much my perfect shade of red. I think it's very fun. It's very bright, though, I've noticed. And it's completely matte and super opaque. I should have used a lip liner, I actually don't know why I didn't, but you can use this pretty easily to um, kind of create the outline of your lips. You can go with concealer as well to clean it up afterwards. And this is a completed look. So I wanted to show you again a little before, and then you can also see the after of just what a little cat eye can do. And it adds a little bit of pizzazz and some drama. I really like how this part came out. Guys, that completes this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful maybe. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. Bye. In terms of the packaging, it comes with a little sponge applicator. Some people like it, some people hate, hate it. I personally really enjoy it. I find it to just apply really nicely. It's a very creamy and full coverage but kind of almost like a mousse-like feel because it's just so lightweight. So it's